Welcome back. The Black Hills community is invited to the annual Easter Sunrise Celebration at Mount Rushmore this Sunday. And joining me now is John Esposti, who is the coordinator for the Sunday service to give us some exciting details about the event. How are you this morning? I'm very well, thank you, Kyle. Well, let's jump right into it. Tell me about this uh, Sunday service that you're having for Easter. Well, it's a long-standing tradition. This is the 76th one of uh, Easter sunrise at Mount Rushmore, and it's a real special location because one of the reasons Mount Rushmore was chosen is because it faces the sun as it rises. And it's uh, brilliantly illuminated in soft golden light, and it's just an inspirational setting and a great place for a, a morning church service. And I'm um, told that it's a combination of kind of all of the churches in that kind of that community, like Keystone Hill City. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about that? Well, it's uh, three different churches: one from Keystone, one from Hill City, and uh, one from Hermosa. We work together uh, uh, year after year to make this happen, and it's a it's a wonderful community-wide event. Wow, and so how should people come dressed? Should they be wearing their Easter best? Because I know some uh, people have Wear some your outfits. Easter warm, <laughs> especially uh, warm shoes. Pay attention to the weather, dress for the weather, uh, coat, hat, uh, everything you need, and also something warm to sit on. It can be something as simple as several pieces of cardboard to put between you and the bench, and then I think you'll be uh, well prepared. And how early should people get there to kind of park and make sure they're all set before the service comes? Starts? Well, the, the, the services start at 7 a.m. And so we recommend you try to get there uh, by 6.30, give yourself plenty of time to park, walk all the way to the uh, amphitheater and uh, get yourself situated. And do they have to, and do people have to play, pay for parking or is it? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's free parking uh, to, uh, Easter morning till about nine o'clock. Oh wow, that sounds really amazing, like it's uh, gonna be really fun. And well, that's, the, uh, you know, the uh, uh, thanks to the uh, people who run the parking concession, the concessionaire Zantera. And this is the 76th kind of celebration of this oh, happening. Yes. How did yeah. it feel to kind of get to, I mean, 76, that's a long time. Well, it, it certainly is, it's a wonderful tradition. And it's uh, one of the things that makes the Black Hills community such a great place to live, is that we have these long-term ongoing traditions that you can count on. And can you share a little bit de specific details about the service and what people can expect? Well, it's a, a traditional, uh, non-denominational Christian service with, uh, with music and singing and uh, Bible reading and a uh, Easter message, as well as uh, inspirational readings as well. Oh wow, sounds like it's gonna be really fun and all this is happening out Mount Rushmore. That's, if you've never been, to, I feel like everyone's been to Mount Rushmore, but it's always a nice treat when you can get out there. Oh yeah, and it's always a good place to go back to. And one of the things I like to tell folks about this uh, event is that it's uh, somewhat emblematic of a democracy. Mount Rushmore, the shrine of democracy, and people often say of the people, by the people, and for the people. Well, this started with uh, ordinary people, uh, uh, not some uh, formal organization getting together and doing it on their own, and the churches has picked it up. It's done uh, by the people. Uh, ordinary citizens from three different churches, and it's done for the people. Everybody in the community, whether or not you're religious, you can come out here and have a good time and be with a lot of really nice people. Well, thank you so much, John, for coming on and giving us these amazing details. It sounds like it's gonna be a really fun time this Sunday. Well, up next, today's Fox Files brings us to Claremont, Florida.